It is 618 this Sunday morning. Two things that will help you get through the next couple of days. Your rain gear. So we're going to be dealing with rain and thunderstorms moving across the mid state and our storm shield app. If you have not already downloaded this, it's a great tool for you to have right in your pocket because you always have our power of five storm five weather teams forecast and you have an interactive radar so you can see where the thunderstorms are and where they're moving. It is free for you on the app store and on Google Play. All you have to do is search storm shield and you can find that rain over the next five days actually looks to increase as we head into our work week today. I don't think is a washout. A few folks will get a shower and thunderstorm better rain chances on Monday and even throughout the middle of the week. We may even need to increase these rain chances some once we get into Tuesday and Wednesday outside right now. We don't have any rain. It is just a golden start to the day. Our sky camera looks gorgeous looking over the skyline of downtown Nashville. We have just a few clouds out there west of 65 that has really made for a gorgeous sunrise today. Most of us are not dealing with any fog, but same story as what we've had the last couple of mornings near Putnam County, White County, and even down towards Warren County. A little bit of patchy fog has been there. Noticing Cookville parts of the area are down to about two miles of visibility. Same story in Warren County and uh, White County there near Sparta, where we could be dealing with less than two miles of visibility there too. Visibility looks good along I 65 in Franklin 73 is our temperature and look how pretty that sun is coming up there in Williamson County. Hopkinsville has a bit more cloud cover out there in Christian County. We've been watching a couple of isolated showers that are just outside the area. A few more of those showers can be working their way in here when uh, once we get towards mid morning and around lunchtime 72 in Hopkinsville 70 degrees right now in Dixon. We're at 69 in Murfreesboro 62 is our temperature in Crossville. Walker run forecast has a steamy in the afternoon, so get it done in the morning time. 72 with some patchy fog this morning at noon. Temperatures will be close to 90 degrees with some isolated rain and thunderstorms. And by the afternoon, we're at 93. I want to show you what the heat index is because despite the thermometer reading in the lower 90s, it's actually going to feel more like the mid to upper 90s in a couple of spots today, especially west of I 65. Notice this computer model says Marie, Kentucky could feel like the triple digit this afternoon. More of us have the opportunity to see the triple digits tomorrow for those feel like temperatures. This is stopped right at 3 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's the hottest portion of the day, and we could see more spots like Dixon, Murfreesboro, even down towards Shelbyville with that feel like temperature around 100. Let's time out that rain for you this afternoon so you're better prepared into your Sunday. Notice in Hopkinsville, some light showers being picked up just north of the city there. Over towards the Boot Hill of Missouri, more of that lightning being picked up with this cluster of thunderstorms that's starting to dive its way down towards uh, western Kentucky. Here's how things play out over the next couple of hours. I'm going to keep a really close eye on it because while it's still holding its strength right now, models do have it weakening considerably before it makes its way here. This is stopped at three o'clock and notice right before it got to the edge of our viewing area. It really just fizzled out some isolated storms still possible through the afternoon today, but no big washout is forecasted five o'clock still seeing some spotty storms. We could even get another round of some rain by early Monday morning towards the Cumberland Plateau. Your seven day forecast has us in the low 90s today. Tomorrow is going to be the hottest day of the extended period mid 90s on Monday. Now temperatures will start to come down a bit more towards the middle of the week. That's because rain chances will be higher Tuesday throughout the rest of our week there into next weekend. We'll be right back.